You know, when I uh, started learning how to create online courses, my main focus was creating the actual lessons for the courses. But it didn't really occur to me that I really needed to also focus on the platform I needed to host my own courses. So at first I was quite lazy. I was using Udemy, Skillshare. But if you watch my videos, you know I'm not a big fan of those platforms. I prefer hosting my own courses. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to create your online course website, where you can host your own courses and have total control. But before we get started, today I'm going to be using a software that I've never used before. So join me on the journey as I set up this website from scratch. All right, guys, let's dive in. All right, so I have a brand new website here. Now, if you want to learn about the hosting, I have all my uh, links in the video description below, which has all the links to my hosting that I recommend. And that is also good for your online course website. All right, so what I need to do now is to go over here to my dashboard and uh, let's go to plugins. Click on add new. So what I'm going to install is called Tutor LMS. It's absolutely free. All right, so here it is, Tutor LMS. I'm gonna click install now. Okay, so now that it's installed, the next step now is to click on activate to activate our plugin. Excellent, so now we have uh, this information here. This is just a welcome. So I am going to say, I already know, skip this. I wanna go straight to the action. All right, so I'm just gonna clear this up a little bit and uh, just drag things into position. Right, so now that I have Twitter LMS installed over here, I am going to uh, create my homepage. So I'm gonna come over here to my pages, click all pages. So right now you can see I have the instructor registration. I also have the sample page and student registration. So this is automatically installed when you install the plugin. So let's have a look at this page and see what it looks like. So here it is. So it's saying I am already logged in, as you can see here. But you know what? We want to see what this page looks like if I'm not logged in. So I'm going to go into incognito mode so we can see what sort of pages we have. All right. So here it's only saying access denied. But you know what? We are going to fix this problem. I just wanted to see what this looks like. OK, so back over here now on our site, we also have the instructor registration. Let's go ahead and create the home page. So to create the home page, I'm just going to click here on add new. We are going to give this page a name. So I'm just going to call this home, hit publish, publish one more time. OK, the next step now is to create our menu so that when people come to our website, they'll, they'll be able to see what the menu looks like and where to click next. All right. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to this W. It's going to take me back to my dashboard here. So I need to now go to my appearance and then click on menus. And let's give this menu a name. I'm just going to call this main menu. And then I'm going to make this the primary menu. And now I'm going to click on create new. So my menu has been created now. The next step is to add my pages to the menu. So I'm going to say view all because I want to see all the pages. And then I'm just going to say select all and just uncheck the sample page. Click on add to menu. So now these are the pages that I have on my on my menu. Great. So I'm just going to rearrange these so that I have them in the order that I want. So we have the student registration and instructor registration and also the dashboard. Let's save our menu. Great. So now if I come over here and refresh this page, you can see now we have a menu over here on the top. And if I click dashboard, you can see everything is working. And to be honest, out of the box, I really love this dashboard. It's looking really, really nice. OK, so moving on. The next step now is to make sure our home page is set as the home page. So I'm going to come over here to my settings and then click on. Is it reading or writing? Sometimes I get this wrong, you know. OK, it is reading. Next, I'm going to click here on static page. And I'm going to assign my home page to home. Excellent. Now I can hit save changes. So now my home page is going to be set as my home page. Great. Now here comes the main part. And this is how to actually add my courses and lessons onto my website. Now this is going to be very, very interesting because like I said, I've never done this before. So let's go, let's dive in and let's take a look. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to come over here to Tutor LMS, click on courses. Okay. So now I'm going to click my button here to add a new course. 
So I'm gonna say new course, and this is where my description would go. So I'm gonna paste my description here. Now over here, we have a maximum number of students, so I can assign how many students I need in this course. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm gonna scroll further down, and this is where we have the course builder. Now this is very interesting. Let's see how this works. So if I click here on add new topic, I think this should be the lesson. So let's go ahead and give this a name. So I'm gonna say lesson one, topic summary. I'm just gonna add some uh, basic text in there. Click on add topic. Okay, so now I can see we have uh, lesson one here. So now if I go to the lesson, it looks like this is where I go in and add all my content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload a featured image. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to look for some images on my computer. There's my image. I'm gonna say, use this media. I also need my uh, lesson information in here. So we notice here, we also have this short code. So we can also add our registration form, instructor registration form and so on. But in this case, I need to add a video. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna paste my video link like that. And you can see here that my video has now been added. So that's what I'm going to have here. So I'm going to go ahead now and click update lesson. So now my lesson has been updated. And if I need to add another one, I can just add another topic over here. Okay, so I can see here it says draft. So I wanna go back in and uh, make sure it's published. So as you can see, everything is in draft mode here. So I wanna go ahead now and publish this. So now that it's published, we can see here that uh, it's not in draft mode anymore. So now I'm curious to see what this page looks like. So I'm gonna click here and open a new tab. And you can see now that this is my new course. So back over here on the course settings, I can say this is for all levels. I can also add the except over here, but I'm gonna leave that as it is. Now back over here on my lesson builder, I'm going to go back into my lesson here and I can add my uh, total course duration over here and also add the benefits of the course. So if you want to um, add more information about this course, you can start adding all your benefits here. So I'm gonna add some dummy text like that. So next I'm gonna add my requirements and then my target audience, materials included, I can add them here. And then over here now we have uh, my video source. So I'm gonna click on this drop down and choose Vimeo. And then I need to add my Vimeo URL over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna copy my video link back on my site, paste my Vimeo link over here. So here is where we can add some announcements. So I've got title, announcement and so on. You know what, I'm not gonna add an announcement, so I'm just gonna collapse this. So it looks like I have everything that I need for my course. And uh, this is where all my lessons go. So I'm pretty much happy with this. So now I can go ahead now and click on update. Now let's take a look at this course and see what it looks like so far. Okay, so here we go. I have my video over here. Now people can enroll by clicking over here. And also I have my requirements set up here and this is what they will learn. And I have my lesson one as well. Okay, so this is a draft lesson. So I need to go in and uh, update my lessons here and make sure that uh, my lessons have all the content that we need. All right, so back over here now, I am going to go to my lesson builder. So here we are on lesson one. Okay, so this is the draft lesson. So I wanna go in here. So this is what I did wrong. I'm supposed to delete this and add my video source here. Vimeo URL, upload attachment. Okay, update lesson. So lesson one has been updated. Next, I'm gonna click here, add another lesson. Go to my video source, Vimeo, Vimeo URL. So I'm just gonna add two here. And this is where I can add my text, my description text for my lesson. So here's my description. So, so far this is looking good. I'm gonna click update lesson. So now I have two lessons over here. So what I'm going to do next here is to set my featured image. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one here and set it as a featured image. Now over here, I can see there's two settings. I can set this as a public course so that no enrollment is required. So I can just check this box here. So I'm gonna leave this as it is for now. And then I'm gonna hit update. So over here on the topic, instead of saying lesson one, I'm going to give this the name of the actual course. So I'm gonna call this main course and then hit update. 
So what I've also done here is I've changed the names of this lesson from lesson one and to lesson two because for some reason they were set to draft. So now I've changed them to lesson one and lesson two. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do here is to make this course public because I want to see how this looks like on the front end. Okay, so I'm going to hit update. And then the next step now is to view this course in incognito mode. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy this URL. But as you can see, this is pretty much showing our course. So this could be our trailer for our course. And if I play it, you can see here that this is going to play. But right now I am this the video admin of the site. So this is showing this way. Okay, so over here, this is our course. So you can see this is our main course. We have our lessons here, but uh, I cannot start this unless I am enrolled. So I have to enroll first. Okay, so let's go over here to incognito mode. And I'm going to paste my URL like that. And then over here now, all the information about my course is right there. The last updated date, total enrolled. I also have uh, my social media links here, my description and so on. So now that I'm in incognito mode, you can see here that my lesson has been highlighted here, which means I can click on it and here it is. So this is now the main view that I can see where all my uh, courses are. And here is my attachment, which is really cool. So if I wanted to play now the lesson, I can just play it like that. In this video, and I'm going to show you go. how to intro so the lesson is now playing. I can move on to lesson number two and here we go. I can play it as well. In this video, okay, great. So now that we have this interface, I can also go back to my courses homepage and this is now back to my uh, original page. Okay, and all over here on the course uh, topics, I can also collapse this, which is really, really cool. All right, so back on to lesson one here, I can also click on this little button and uh, collapse all this like that. Okay, so once the lesson is complete, I can just come over here and complete the lesson which in my opinion is also a really cool thing to do because this gives us an idea of what I have completed and what I haven't. But since this is a front facing course, which doesn't need any registration, this just stays as it is like that. Okay, so as you can see, this is very, very straightforward to set up. And also if I come over here to my dashboard, I can now view my dashboard and see what I'm enrolled in. So over here, I have the new course, which is the one that's uh, recently published. And also I have total courses here and I can go to my enrolled courses and so on. So as you can see, this is very easy to set up. You can go in, this is absolutely free. You can have a website up and running with no time. This was my first time using this software. I had a bit of uh, playing around and tweaking around just to find my way. But you know what? In the end, I got there. But this is how you can set up your website and host your own courses. In the next video, I am going to show you how to set it all up with a payment gateway so you can charge for your courses. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.